All right, we got Casey Kenny back on the show, one of the positive voices in our great sport in a crazy year like this, and we need all the positivity we can get these days. He's off to Fight Island shortly, takes on Haley Alatang on October 3rd. Casey, good to see you, man. How are you? Hey, nice to see you as well, but uh, you hit it on the head there. You got to spread some positivity, right? Absolutely. So you get to uh, you get to stamp a passport here. You get to be part of a, a unique circumstance, a, a unique environment. I'm sure you would rather avoid the travel and just fight in Vegas. But uh, but still, you get to be a part of something memorable like this. This is pretty cool, is it not? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, fighting in Vegas close by is always great. But uh, to be part of history, part of Fight Island, you know, you can't beat that. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. A flight is uh, no big deal to me. So uh, let's go make history. Well, you're going to be in this the, the lap of luxury almost in that plane with all the comfort and stuff. So you get to be nice and relaxed anyways for an 8,000 mile trip. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it could be a worse flight. <laughs> yeah. So you're coming off that that great win against Lewis Smolka, first finish in the UFC. It was it was a fun fight while it lasted. It was everything you kind of hoped it would be, but then you put him away just over three minutes into the fight. Did you feel like this is a statement win for you that you opened up a lot of eyes with this one that you put the bantamweight division on notice, especially coming off your first loss in a few years? Yeah, um, you know, obviously everybody's looking for the finish. It was my first finish in the UFC, and I felt like I you know, just went out there and did exactly what I needed to do. You know, not that my first two wins in the UFC were, were easy and I was off or anything, but to put somebody away and to do it the way I did, you know, pr almost uh, a flawless victory. Uh, I think everyone started to realize like, oh man, this kid is for real. No bonus though. Like getting the win obviously is the most important thing, but you don't see a lot of one arm uh, like guillotine chokes finishes in the first round these days were you a little bummed about that because i thought you were right up there as a as a favorite to get an extra 50 g's there yeah uh, i thought i was gonna get the 50 g's too um however you know it is what it is I, i'm looking to get the next one uh but uh who doesn't want the 50 g's so uh you know yeah like i said it is what it is but i definitely thought i was in the running do they kick you a couple extra bucks though because i know the ufc likes to do that from time to time yeah, I got the standard, but, you know, uh, I was hoping for a little more, but eh, I'll go make it next time. There you go. So you're getting ready to, to head to Fight Islands. You're in Vegas right now. You leave tomorrow. It's Thursday as we record this to fight Haley Alatang. And I'm sure you were ready to go. You're the kind of guy that was was ready if a fight came up in a week's notice or three days notice. You were ready to jump in there. You thrive on this chaos that we're in. But you had a little bit of extra prep time for this one. Are you happy with that, or do you do you wish you got a, a quick, short notice fight like you had the last time? Uh, you know, I always like to get back in there and make it a short notice one. But you know, there's times where it was good to have a camp again. You know, um, you know, I was a little bummed that it was so far away when I first uh, was told. But hey, it's it's all right. You know, I took the summer and uh, kind of or the rest of the summer and kind of did my thing and you know got better. Uh, made some improvements, uh, like I'm always trying to do. So, uh, you know, like I said, it is what it is. There wasn't much I could do about it. You know, the only thing I can go do is knock this dude out and try to fight the weekend after as well. Wow, look at you. That's a, that's a smart way to look at it. You're very advantageous, Casey. <laughs> so that's that's the goal. You know, uh, I'm not looking past uh, Alatang at all, but there's a lot of band weights uh, the following weekend. So why not stay on the island? When did you find out about this fight? When, were you, when was it offered to you? Um, I mean, it's probably been about 12 weeks now. Um, originally, it was uh, going to be in Vegas September 19th, and that was when UFC 253 was still going to be there. Um, a couple weeks after I got that call, they moved the fight to October 3rd. I believe Alatang couldn't get a visa to the, like, the United States or something along those lines. Um, so anyways, we got moved and, uh, no, it wasn't a big deal for me, but, um, now we go to fight Lion. you know, fight Island. It is, is this the longest, like, I don't know if like your training camp was 12 weeks. I mean, you're already working and staying in shape anyways, but is this like the longest stretch of time between putting pen to paper and actually getting in the octagon since you've signed with the UFC? Uh, it's pretty close. After I fought Bermudez, you know, that was in August. I didn't fight Marab till February. So, and I was ready the whole time, you know, just, it was kind of just the way things worked out, you know, 
Um, but actually, the first thing I did when I got the call, it was going to be pushed two weeks back, and I had just started camp. Is I, I took a little vacation. I went to visit some friends in California. And I had a you know long weekend there. I was like, oh, I got an extra two weeks. You know, twelve weeks is way too long. I got I need like ten. <laughs> There you go. What did you do to to sort of relax and and just uh, kind know, of put fighting time. behind you for a sec? I have a few drinks, uh, you know, normal stuff. Eat some good food. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, I was it was uh, I was trying to do a little bit more, but it was uh, you know kind of during the the heat of the the pandemic type thing. So everyone was, and I didn't want to go travel too too much. Do you try to take some time throughout the year to, to to do things like that and get away and at least try to get your mind off the fight game for, you know, a day or two, maybe three? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm all about balance, man. Uh, you know, after the fights, you know, I'm out having a good time, eat, eating what I want, uh, still training, staying ready. But, uh, you know, I'm enjoying this whole thing, um, you know, even the in-between time. Um, you know, I love to fight, but, you know, I'm having a good time. Um you know, getting better, um, living life, you know, in between fights. So yeah, of course, uh, all about balance. So Haley's got experience, but you have more UFC experience, more octagon experience than he does. Cause I mean, I was like the, the UFC is, is a different animal and you've been on big pay-per-view cards. You've done the short notice thing. You've even done the COVID era turnaround fights with no crowd. Does your UFC experience outweigh his overall experience? Uh, you know, I just think the, uh, well, not only the experience in the UFC, but you kind of hit on the head just even before I was in the UFC, the level of competition that I had, um, before I got to the UFC, like I've been fighting UFC caliber guys for, I feel like my last, you know, 10 fights. Uh, so I think that's going to be, you know, where the experience wise, where I'm ahead, you know, uh, obviously he's got more fights than me. Um, not counting him out experience wise, but as far as like the level of competition, I don't think he's even comes close to, you know, the level of competition that I've been across. You were supposed to share this card with your teammate, the man with arguably the best hair in mixed martial arts, Kyler Phillips. And last check, Kyler was, was without opponent after, uh, Dana Batgarel was forced out of the fight. He had an injury. And I know the UFC was trying to get something going and, and, and keep him on the card, but is he is he traveling with you guys on October third for the October third fight? Came out of Kyler's room actually, so uh, I'm assuming they're gonna get somebody. I, we don't I don't have a, a a for sure name yet, but uh, he's here, so I'm I'm assuming they're planning on getting him somebody. There you go. Outside of like the experience itself, how do you like this matchup? Like, does this check the? Because you like to get into exciting fights, you you like to check off all those boxes for excitement. Does this one do that for you? Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, uh, I feel like Alatang comes forward, tries to tries to knock you out, and you know that, that makes for an exciting fight. You know, the last couple guys, uh, Smoko was one. You know, he, he brought the fight to me, and uh, I think if you bring the fight to me, it's going to be a short night for you. So uh, I, I like those. I like those kind of fights, man. It's going to be exciting. Do you like all this quarantining stuff? Because like, I mean, do you, you get the hookup with with your own training rooms, and I'm sure Abu Dhabi is going to be similar, but you strike me as a guy that that kind of likes this stuff. Like you get to sort of march to the beat of your own drum. Like you're not on any kind of a schedule. You don't have to sign in a time for you to go train. Like you can just do whatever you want essentially in your own space. Do you, do you enjoy this part of, even though it's chaotic, do you like this? Yeah. You know, I feel like obviously being in the room by myself was a little bit different uh, yesterday, but I feel like fight week's a big quarantine anyways. You know, you may get out, uh, once or twice during the day, but most of the time it's like sitting around the hotel room waiting for waiting to do something, you know. And uh, it the well, I still got to experience this one. This one's gonna be a good one, you know, with the the Abu Dhabi quarantine and everything. But you know, the Vegas one, it, it felt pretty similar, you know, other than you know the testing and stuff like that. wasn't much different than a normal fight week, uh, you know. Maybe not walking down to the lobby with you know all the other guests and stuff in it but um you know i like it i like fight week you know i get to sit back relax hang out with uh close friends close coaches and uh you know i just try to enjoy you know whatever they put in front of me 
I mean, the Vegas quarantine can, I guess, be kind of tough and how you look out and it's all lit up. I don't even know where you guys are at out there, but Abu Dhabi, they tease you with these rooms and you're overlooking the beach and you're just like, man, I'd love to like get out there and jump in the water or sit on the beach. Is it going to be a little, a little tougher for you or are you just going to have to like shut the shades and, and try not to let it distract you? Yeah, that was my biggest thing is like, I'm all the way over there in Abu Dhabi, Dubai is close by. Like, can I leave Yaz Island, please? Can I just go out and explore, like, even after the fight? And, uh, you know, it looks like I'll need to make a trip back there at some point. So, uh, you know, that that part was, I was, uh, you know, wishful thinking um, when, when I first found out about this, that I'd actually be able to get off Yaz Island. But, you know, I got the little info packet about Yaz Island, and it seems like they, you know, they got a pretty cool little setup there. So um, I'm excited to see what, what they got for us. How do you get this thing done, Casey? Looking to make it two straight? I know you want the bonus, so maybe two straight finishes spread over 8,000 miles. Yep. How do you get this thing done? Uh, man, if, if I don't put them away on the feet, I think I can get it done on the ground, too. Um, you know, first, second, third round doesn't matter. Uh, I'm in shape. I'm ready to go a full fight. But um, if he goes away early, great. If he wants to make it a dog fight, I'm going to try to put him away late, too. And you want to stick around. We want to do this thing. Maybe yeah. get you two, three, four fights. Just do it away and sign up for the weekend after. That's my goal. I love it, man. See, the positivity. We need. We, we needed this. We needed the smiles. We needed the positivity. We need the, the, all this great stuff, Casey. I appreciate the time as always, man. All the best to you. Safe travels to Abu Dhabi. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this fight, man. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your time as well. And I'm sure we'll uh, talk soon. Sure we will. Thanks, brother. Hey, take care.